Welcome back to the channel, it's Mark Amundsen. Today we're going to be talking about the titty grab and harnesses. Stick around. And now for another Questions in Quarantine. Do penguins consider themselves to be fancy? How many relationships end due to differing opinions on bedazzled jeans? Have you ever listened to English muffins as they toast? If reincarnation were real, what type of animal would you come back as? Have you ever considered what your life would smell like if it was a scented candle? Ugh. If you had an underground bunker, how many entrances would it have? In case you haven't figured it out, that was another Questions in Quarantine. Oh, what's up, pair of pandemic survivors? It's Mark Amundsen back here from Green Bay, Wisconsin. It's beautiful out today. It looks like uh, we're not going to be able to do too much flying after this. They want us all to stay inside. So yesterday was my last uh, opportunity to fly, but it reminded me of a good landing technique and something that I learned a few years back at EAA. Both of my landings yesterday, as I came in, I was flaring right into the wind, but I got carried sideways on both of them. Just slightly at the end where I flared, and think about it as you're coming in, you know this with experience, you flare, and if you're going this way, you wanna put your hand down to brace yourself. Well, putting your hand down makes you turn even more. So the technique that I learned a while back is one, it's got kind of a funny name, but you can see by the action, it's called grab titty. So grab titty applies when you're coming in to land, and you're flare, flare, flaring, and you go off to the side. As soon as you start going off to the side and you're down low, your instinct is to put the hand out, but what you need to remember is grab titty. Set your hand right here, don't pull any brake, and push with the other one, and bring yourself back in. Once again. Flare, flare, flare. Start going off to the side. Pull your hand in, push this way. Boom, touch right back down. Pretty easy to think about here on the ground, but when you come in, and both of them yesterday, the wind was just shifting enough that right as I flared, I lifted off to the side, kinda did it, wiped out on one of the landings, uh, just slightly. But um, yeah, if I would've brought that in, pushed full flare on this side, it would've straightened me right back out and touched down nice and smooth. So I saw a lot at Palm Bay, and I've seen at a lot of fly-ins before, that uh, when people start going this way, you put your hand down to brace for impact, and that just makes it slightly worse. So when in doubt, grab titty, pull brake, and if you fall, you can always put your hand back up. That's it today. Also, I just wanted to show you this sweet technique on this harness right here. Uh, I figured it out the other day. I didn't realize how easy it was. To adjust it, use these buckles, and you want to get it up as high as you can. And it's super simple to loosen up the harness. Loosen up right here. Now it's sagging all the way down off the back. Now when I want to get it put up onto my back, under the same, right through here, you got this one, and then this one. And it gets it super high up on the back. Just kind of a cool harness feature. That makes it so you can get it very high up onto the back. All right, that's it. Thanks again for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this little uh, landing technique video stay safe and healthy out there everybody and we'll see you guys instagram it's uh, ppg supply check it out over there for new pictures and facebook ppg supply also all right see you guys hey Beautiful turn.